Well, hi folks, Corey Barker here of the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. And in this video, we're going to talk about image resolution. More specifically, when it comes to working with digital cameras. Now, when you want to take your images out of your camera to have them printed, in many cases, cameras will output images at 72 pixels per inch. This is referred to as PPI. Now, oftentimes, images will be referred to in DPI, which is dots per inch. And this is only correct if you're referring to the actual printed image, because if you look at up close of a printed uh, uh, um, image, it's made up of very tiny little dots and several hundred of these per inch, which makes the dots per inch. Pixels per inch only refers to images on your screen because your screen is represented by several thousand tiny little pixels. So. In a common scenario, um, most cameras will output at 72 um, PPI. What is the reason for this? Well, most typically because monitors and um, display devices typically will display images at 72 to 100 pixels per inch. Now, the problem is it jams packs so much information in there that it ends up with a larger dimension file because of its low resolution. Here is the where the problem rolls in. People get those images and they'll say, let's say they get a 48 by 36 inch image at 72 pixels per inch out of their digital camera where their print bureau says they need it needs to be at 300 pixels per inch. Well, they'll go in there inside Photoshop and go to image size and then go in here and just highlight resolution and increase that to 300 pixels per inch. This is absolutely the worst thing you can do because you're actually creating a file that's almost four times the size of your original document. Notice what happened. This file is at 72 pixels per inch, but notice up here, it's only three, roughly 3,600 by 2,700 pixels. By entering 300, we've got a massively large file. So we're inputting and creating more data than is necessary. This is called resampling. So let's look at an example here. So let's say I have a camera that generates a 10 megapixel image and it outputs it at 36, or 3,648 pixels by 2,736 pixels. Well, if I divide each of those figures by 72, or 72 DPI, or PPI rather, if I divide 3648 by 72, I end up with 50.66 inches. And again, if I do the other dimension, 2736 divided by 72, I end up with 38 inches. So this translates to a 50 by 38 inch image at 72 PPI. Well, oftentimes we're not going to be actually printing a image 50 by 38 inches unless we're generating a movie poster of some sort. So this is going to be obviously very much, uh, very huge. So this is where people tend to get confused at the very large size of their images. When in actuality, it's actually much smaller than that. It just is misleading because the numbers are basically flip-flopped. So let's go back to our original image here and see what we're talking about. So if I go in the image menu and go to image size again, You'll, you can see we're dealing with those same dimensions, 3648 by 2736, which translates to 50.667 inches by 38 at 72 pixels per inch. Now, when you're looking at this image size dialog, you can kind of refer to it as this. The pixel dimensions here refer to the on-screen dimensions, and the document size refers to your printed information here. So. If I wanted to make this uh, manage to a manageable page size or roughly a manageable page size, you wouldn't want to go in here and, and highlight resolution and enter 300 because again, that like I, like I said a moment ago, will give you that enormous document. Here's what you want to do inside Photoshop is make sure that you uncheck resample image. And this is the same if you're using elements as well. Go over here and uncheck resample image. Now notice when I uncheck it and I change, notice the pixel dimensions have been grayed out. I can no longer modify them. But here's the interesting thing. If I go and recheck sample on, on that image, let's get it back to where it's resampling, and I enter 300. Notice what happens to the file size up here. It was 28.6 megabytes. Now it will be 495.8 if I input this 300 into this new dimension. However, if I uncheck resample image, and notice I've brought the resolution up to 300, it inherently brings down the dimensions of a document. Notice the size is remaining the same. So if I make this 72, it brings it back to that image. If I make it 300, changes the overall dimensions and the file size remains the same. So we have not altered any information in this file. We have merely changed its distribu distribution of uh, pixels or dots per inch based on the dimensions and resolution of the file. So and this is what's key. You don't want to invent 
information by keeping the resampling on. You do not want to resample, but rather just increase the resolution so the dimensions can come down proportionately. So this is a key thing to remember when you're working with images coming from your digital camera is that chances are they're going to have enormous dimensions, but rather relatively small um, resolution. So what you need to do is bring them in and then do this, uncheck resample, and then just increase the resolution, which will inherently bring down the dimensions to whatever manageable size you need it to be without losing any information.